Awesome, I wanna show you something that's gonna be extremely helpful to somebody watching this and it's probably you. So please pay attention. I'm gonna tell you what it is and I'm gonna show you a lot of examples to give you a lot of ideas on how you can implement this strategy on your social media, whether that be Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or wherever it is that you're growing a engaged audience and you want to eventually sell them to your products and services. This is gonna be the biggest thing that you can possibly do. It's one of the biggest things that I did in order to grow an audience, so pay attention. I wanna share my screen with you. And I'm starting with Gary Vee because he really is sort of the godfather of digital marketing and, and social media at the moment. And he says it the most succinctly. And the lesson here, if you wanna turn the video off after this, you may. I don't advise it though, we've got some funny examples coming up. The lesson is document, don't create. And that, basically means everybody out there is trying to create the perfect social media post and they spend months on it, they spend weeks or at least days on it and they post once a week and they showcase them in front of a Ferrari with that's been like, you know, photoshopped all the time, all these filters on it and nobody really wants to see that. Everybody just gets intimidated about that. Everyone's like, oh, this guy must be uh, annoying. This guy probably rips people off and Instead of doing that, and instead of being that far down that seesaw, the best thing you can do is you can share your true experience of life and business with people. I don't just mean vlog 24 seven, I'll show you exactly what that means and I want to introduce you to something called the pre-sell formula by Clay Collins and it's gonna be really, really revolutionary because it was for me. But essentially, if you document what's already happening and you become more transparent in your business, not only is it easier to create content, imagine creating behind the scenes content. All you need to do is create an Instagram story, put a video up and uh, start recording an employee, ask him how their day's going, what they're working on. And they could be putting together, you know, a makeup palette for your brand. I've got a makeup palette uh, example, that's where that comes from. But by documenting what's already happening, it becomes so easy to create the content. But not only that, but people love it. People love it so much more and can connect with you, can connect with the brand more than you posting your sales numbers or you in front of a Ferrari or your end product that's been photoshopped a million times. Here are some examples of that. We're gonna go through uh, about six examples together and they get better and better. So please stay with me. This is massive and I'm gonna show you how you can start incorporating this and getting ideas for your social media posts no matter what platform you're posting on uh, because of this. So Gary Vee, he talks about documenting, not creating. He says it the most succinctly and it's as easy as that. So how does he actually live by that? One, he does the daily V or he did the daily V which is now the weekly V which is basically him doing a vlog or him having a film crew follow him around throughout his day and what happens is they just post that in a edited version of him doing his day-to-day -day business. He runs a social media agency and he's a speaker. Do you know how many people will sign up for a social media agency if they needed social media help or will uh, hire him as a speaker because they watch his daily V and they see how genuine and amazing he is on a day-to-day -day level? But remember, the most important thing, apart from getting better and superior results in the actual business place, is it's so much easier for him to create. He lives his life and he has people film it. Another example of this is a personal example. This is my other YouTube channel, Decoded. I haven't posted for a couple months, but I'll be back very soon with some transparent uh, work alongside me uh, challenges that I'm gonna take on. So you can come over and subscribe if you want to join those. But I wanna show you how this uh, channel really started. I uh, sell products, I sell a lot of e-commerce products and I sell on Amazon FBA. And a lot of people at the time were wanting to sell products on Amazon and they still are. And basically what I did is a lot of people are posting how much money they're making and how incredible Amazon is. What I did is I launched a product from scratch, from zero dollars all the way up to $10,000 a month over 45 days in a live transparent launch. And this was easy because you can see me here. I just logged on every day and documented what I did in that day. And by doing that, people grew to love me because there was 45 days of me. So you can actually see behind like, you know, a 10 minute video of being like, oh, that guy is probably different or that guy does something different. You get to know somebody and they get to really like you. And you can see it did really well, at least at the time for me, uh, with the amount of views that it got. And it really put my channel uh, into somewhere where I can just make videos about whatever I wanted. But I'm actually gonna go back to the transparent stuff because it's so much easier to create and people love it so much more. Here is another one. This is probably the biggest makeup launch in history. Millions, tens of millions of dollars, I don't know the exact figure, but Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star launched uh, a conspiracy collection 
of cosmetics. This is an hour long ad essentially, but you can see it's done in the form of a vlog or a blog, a video blog. Uh, and you can see it's literally behind the scenes, them worried about their sales. They're in the, these business meetings, they're on the phone with retail stores who are buying hundreds of thousands, if not millions of their products to actually stock. Uh, here's them in the factory, here's them worrying about what colors they're gonna use. And then they had like a really cool like montage of the actual product. Um, here we go. This is them picking the actual color palette. And then this has got 21 million views, which is absolutely ridiculous. And he's also an incredible uh, video editor. So you get very encapsulated by this, but you can come and watch this as well if you haven't seen it already. And um, you'll see exactly how it pulls you into the brand and how it pulls you into the idea because they're documenting the journey. You can see this is the logo creation and then the creation of the actual packaging, I believe, and putting it all together. I'm uh, getting some pretty terrible still shots here, but um, you get the idea. And what happens is when this goes to launch, everybody was there for the build up. The pre sale formula by Clay Collins is include your customers, include your audience in the actual building of your products. And therefore, they feel like they have a part in it. They, they actually have a vested interest and they're going to love the product and they're going to love to support it because they helped actually build it. Here's a few other really, really good examples. Tim Ferriss, you don't know him, he has an amazing podcast tool. Uh, his podcast is, I think, The Tim Ferriss Show, but Tools of Titans was basically an amalgamation of everyone who he had interviewed on his podcast. And he took the best lessons from each episode and made it into a book, this is the audiobook version. And this became obviously a bestseller one because he's got a big audience and he's Tim Ferriss, but everyone was there for the building of this actual book. And it's a great way to pre-sell or sell with your audience a product that they were there helping create. And the documenting of the content just came from interviews. All he did was interview other people. And that's how he documented, which is a form, instead of creating, he's not making his own plans, he's not teaching everybody his own stuff, he's just sharing other people's stuff, documenting the interviews, and it's an amazing way to do it. The last example I wanna show you is probably one of the best ones. These guys are absolute geniuses, their name is Hamish and Andy. If you're Australian, you probably know them. They're a comedy duo and they've been around for about 15 years here in Australia. I really enjoy them. They're very, very funny, um, but they're brilliant marketers and a lot of people overlook that and that's a sign of being such a good marketer is people don't know how good these people actually are. They were big, they came up on the radio, which is basically their form of media. So if yours is Instagram or yours is YouTube or yours is TikTok, theirs was radio. And what they did is they did these challenges, these very fun challenges. And basically, I don't remember the story here, it was a few years ago, 2008 now. Um, I think Hamish wanted to create his own chip. And they called Smith's, the chip company, and said, can we make our own flavored chip? It's called the People's Chip, a great insight to sharing the journey with the people. Uh, you know, The Rock is the people's champion. Um, the American Constitution is we the people. People get behind something that they are a part of. And the people's chip was made by the people. And it was voted on what flavor the chip should be, just like the uh, conspiracy collection was voted upon and crowdsourced on what color should go in there. And everyone was there for the actual um, creation of it. Everyone was there for the creation of the gravy chip. And of course, it sold out and it become a actually became a uh, collector's item that people, you can see, over $100 for the packet of chips because everyone bought it, everyone wanted it, there was limited edition, and they sold out like that just because people were there for the actual creation of it. Here's another genius example by them, a more recent one, probably in 2018, 2017. Uh, it's Andy by Hamish. So this is the comedy duo here, Hamish and Andy. Hamish made a perfume for Andy who obviously was resisting it. You can see this is the comedic bit. He didn't want it and he was pushing it like a sex symbol sort of perfume. And people were there for the whole creation of it. They did a photo shoot. They talked about it weekly on the radio. And then when it came out, it obviously just got sold out uh, because everyone was there for the building of this thing. Another one they've recently done is the Power Moves book, which I've opened in a YouTube channel here. YouTube video, you can see throughout uh, they run a podcast now. And throughout the podcast, they had people calling in with power moves, how to almost assert dominance over other people in funny ways. And they did, you know, five of these an episode, similar to Tim Ferriss, and then I put it into a book, an animated animated book, a uh, cartoon book, or uh, 
you know, a drawn out book, however you say it in the, in the static version. And essentially, they're now selling this book and everybody who contributed is obviously gonna buy it, plus everyone who is listening is going to buy it. And they're really, really good at the pre-sell formula, including the audience and documenting the journey. So not only is it easier to create the content, but it gets a better response with your actual audience. If you like this video, if that's been helpful to you, please let me know in the comments, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.